This show is brought to you by BetQL, the only app you'll need to make smart bets and get an advantage over your sports book. They scan over 350,000 unique bets per year to give you the best bet recommendation for every game. All major sports covers everything from spreads, over-unders, player prop bets. Their algorithms look at historical performance, matchups, weather, injuries, coaching, and much more. Go to try.betql.co slash DKPS. I'm going to give that to you again because it's a mouthful. Try.betql.co slash DKPS. That's how you get started. Download the BetQL app and use the discount code. This is important. DKPS at payment. Check out for 25% off any subscription. BetQL.co slash DKPS. Hello and welcome to Steelers Today, a very special edition in which Eddie Provident and I are going to scrap our own, our own Jake Paul version. <laughs> and and then after that, Eddie's going to walk on milk crates. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, everyone's going to complain about none it. None of this is going to happen. But you know what? Even if it did, Mike Tomlin would deny <laughs> that it uh, did. What a practice this was. It was something, man. You know, it here, was something. Here's, here's uh, the short version of this. And for anybody who doesn't know, NFL guidelines restrict what people like me and Eddie we can We can only say so much. And we can only show so much and can... What you have to do is you have to go to participants and interview them and confirm. And, and pull it out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> confirm that this thing that you saw, you saw. Right. So right. here's what happened per what all can be discussed. Uh, Chase Claypool and Minka Fitzpatrick got into a fight. Right. Now, Eddie, ask me if it was a little fight or a big fight? It's a little scrum like we saw a couple weeks ago. No. Was it was it a full on? It was, oh, it was a full on. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh huh. So who won? Well, now ask me, <laughs> ask me further if it was just those two guys. Was it just those two guys? No, as a matter of fact, Eddie, it wasn't. It's funny that you ask. It actually turned out to be, and a player confirmed this by using the terminology a pile. It turned out to be a whole lot of Steelers. Everybody. And a bunch of them. Befitting the way these things go in training camp settings, or really in any settings, the offense is with the offense. Right. The defense Deep. is with the defense. What else you got? What else do you want to ask me, Eddie? Because I just might answer it. How many punches? Oh, I didn't count, but I'll tell you what. The hills were alive with the <laughs> echoes of the sound. <laughs> oh, man. Of these punches going off of helmets. So that was the thunder that I heard while I was... Walking around, it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the actual storms. It was the fight. Mike Tomlin, afterward, uh, he he faced reporters as he always does, and I asked Tomlin to discuss what happened down there. Here's how that went. Do you have any concerns about what happened in the end zone down there? What what are you referring to? The scrap in the end zone. Yeah, I have no idea what you're referring to. Okay. So basically, he said that everything you just said. And he basically, he said, listen, you can ask that question any way you want. And he's not answering. And I'm not going to help you confirm because they know how these how recording this game, procedures they're the game. work. They're playing the game. Yeah, and lucky for us, there were also three players who were previously known were going to be available. Uh, Kevin Dotson, Tyson Alualu, and Chris Wormley. And all three of them, right. again, they, they weren't going to sit there and lie to us. You know, the head coach is in his own sure. realm. Uh, however, the head coach did acknowledge, uh, as did the players, that he gathered the team around him mm -hmm. uh, on the field after they had finished all the drills, and they did get back to regular work. And once they did that, the message, according to Alulu, that was sent out to the team is, hey, no. Don't okay? Yeah. We get what's going on here. We get that it's you know 900 degrees and everything else. But don't do this because you, we don't want you breaking your hands. We don't want you. So let me ask you this because when I was when I came up playing football, coaches loved this. They loved when we were back and forth with each other. We had that edge. Do you think Tomlin likes this? Do you think he like deep down inside he likes to see this edge from his team, or does he does he hate this kind Eddie, of thing? Eddie, you sound like you want to ask me another question about what happened out there. <laughs> Tomlin, if you had asked me was doing this while it went on. <laughs> not smiling, not smiling, not smiling. 
just, but just, just sitting there watching. Didn't budge. Didn't Let it happen. Budge. So make of that what you want. T make of that what you want. Um, my own inclination with these things, although it, you can tell that Eddie and I are having some fun with this, is that this stuff happens. Yeah. Okay? It, it's football. Like you said, it's hot out. Grown men, they're fighting for two hours. Well, they're and battling as, each yeah, other. Yeah, and as, as, Tempers as, fly as Dotson himself pointed out, well, hang on, I'll just let him yeah. share it with you in his words. It's like it's Clay Paul and Fitzpatrick yelling at each other. Yeah. Were those the guys? Yeah, I think so. If you go compete, I mean, competitors don't fight. They, they're two of our biggest competitors, so I kind of almost expect it to happen at least once. And they are. They are two competitors. Right. And uh, Claypool, this isn't the first guy. He's gotten into it with. Nope. He's he's got a little bit of a. He's got that thing, man. He's got that edge. He's got that that physicality. He's and Minka is like people think of him as Joe Cool and Mister This and everything else, but Minka is also he also has that. And I'm gonna tell you this too. Although this is just presumed and it's hypothetical, and I didn't actually see this, but Minka didn't have a great day. Yeah, meaning from the football standpoint. Okay, and. You know, those things Sometimes will, that, uh, yeah, those will add up. Who wants to hear about actual football? Do you want to hear about actual football? Let's hear about actual football. We can do that right after this we'll break. Come back. Welcome back. He's Eddie Provident. I'm Dan Kovacic. We're both from DK Pittsburgh Sports. And there was actual football news also it's confirmed. Common theme of the, uh, the offseason, the preseason, the practices, the offensive line again. Right? Yeah, and I was going to say into the regular season Yeah, it's going to well. be the regular season. But... The part that was new today was Chooks of Korofor being back at right tackle. Wow. And Dan Moore, who's had a terrific camp. Absolutely. Being with the first team at left tackle. Now, this, of course, means that Zach Banner wasn't practicing. All of this confirmed, by the way. Okay. All, like, players confirmed and everything. We got it. <laughs> okay. Um, I happen to like this a lot. I do, too. I've been, uh, if you listen to the Mad Chat and Eddie show, if you've heard me talk, if you follow my Twitter account, I am the, the driver of the Dan Moore fan You're club. You're at the front of the Dan I, Moore I'm, bus? Oh, I'm the front of the Dan Moore <laughs> bus, man. I love Dan Moore for the same thing we just talked about in the last segment. I love how scrappy he is. I love his physicality. I love his aggressiveness. He gets off the ball quick, and he hits people hard. I, I love everything about this kid. But what you, you and I talked about Friday before the game is tempering those expectations and that excitement oh. on a rookie lineman. So okay, but, I'm trying, but boy, do I like Dan Moore. Okay, well, this sounds good if we're playing a video game and it's not protecting the blind side Absolutely. of the Canton-bound franchise quarterback. Yes. And that's, that's, that's a different the, discussion. A different, yeah. Okay, so I can like it too, but there's something about this that, that, that obviously has me a lot less comfortable than if Banner was healthy. Now, we did not get any kind of definitive word mm -hmm. on Banner. Um, the fact that he didn't participate is obviously not a great sign. No. Uh, and the fact that they made the move of Chooks from left to right. Now, you know, Tomlin acknowledged that this move happened, but he also, you know, kind of downplayed it like right. he does with all moves. Um, it's... You know, the situation just keeps getting less and less well, certain. Here's my question to you, because you, you've been around this team for however long you've been around this team now. I'm not going to date you. <laughs> but how, when you look at what Zach Banner's ceiling is and then look at what Dan Moore can provide as a, as a rookie, is there that much of a gap? Um, it's a difficult conversation to have for a bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. One, because we don't know about, you can't just say, what if Zach was healthy? Right. We just... Because he, he hasn't. He was he healthy isn't. for one game okay. and one down. He isn't. Uh, he's taken 12 total preseason snaps, all of them in the Detroit game, and even then right. he was alternating with Dan Moore. Uh, the other part of this equation, though, is that Chooks hasn't been great No, at left no, tackle. No, he hasn't. And he, this is his show-me year, really. This is it. Again, whether it's his year or whatever, you have to keep the quarterback vertical. On the ground. Or okay. off the ground. Yeah. Off the ground. Okay. Off the ground. And Chooks has had his moments because he has that, I mean, that ridiculous Huge. frame. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he's also had lapses and lapses at left tackle end your season. Yes. Okay? Yes. That is, that's a, that's a dire thing. And I, I at least 
like the idea of having Chooks at right tackle where he has experience, where he has yeah. lots of NFL games of work on that side. But then, again, we're talking about Dan Moore. And then let's also not forget that tomorrow's cutdown day across the NFL, 4 p.m. is the deadline. And there's a really good chance they'll, they're going to get some people there's here. There's going to be one or two, yeah. And, and for me, you know, everybody came in the preseason talking about Ben Roethlisberger's arm. That was the, the talk of preseason. And, and he said this himself at the beginning of, of uh, training camp, and, and we've made this point, uh, you, Dale, myself, he's had an entire offseason to rest that arm. He hasn't been rehabbing it this year, and he's, he's coming in with, with a rested arm. The arm is not the issue to me. I've watched him in training camp chuck a ball 45 yards, upper body only. No, he's letting it yeah, go. Yeah, he's letting it go. My concern is when we watch him move, and as cool as it looked to see that flash of old Ben on that uh, Eric Ebron drop, the knees are 39-year-old knees, and they're, they're 18-year NFL knees. And I don't want to see him having to move is, a lot no, unless, he, it's, it, unless it's shuffling in the pocket. And this is what it all comes down to for this football team. If the tackle situation is good, this is going to be a force to be reckoned with as an offense, I think. I think you're going to see the Steelers add at the position. I don't uh, know that they have a choice. Whether it's Tuesday evening or Wednesday, uh, it, it's going to be really they, soon. I mean, you know, Colbert has cap space to use, and there's, like you said, there's going to be a bunch of guys on the market after Tuesday. Go get them. Got to get, get somebody. Em. Yep. Download the BetQL app and use the discount code. This is important. DKPS at payment. Check out for 25% off any subscription. Don't forget to subscribe either. We always want to mention that. I'm going to badger all of you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel.